Hey, I know I'm probably the last person you want to hear from right now. And I get that. Um, I just miss you a lot. And I can't stop thinking about you. I guess I was just calling to check if you're doing okay. I'm not. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the true. Forget to marry life, I got better things to Welcome do. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. Especially the notifications button. Take some time out and go ahead and press that button right now. All right. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if it feels like I'm talking about you, you need to check yourself. Nigga, what? Next, if you want the music to the intro and you want the link to my second channel, which I have put out a new video, so go over there and watch it. Both links are below in the description. All right, today I'm going to be talking about eight ways that guys suffer after a relationship that women don't even care about or recognize. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because a lot of guys like to tell a woman what they've been going through. So today I'm going to be breaking down why a woman doesn't really care what you've been going through and how you suffer in ways that you're going to have to learn to get over yourself. All right. There's nothing that anyone online is going to tell you that's going to allow you to heal. Time is going to heal, but also understanding of self allows you to heal faster. And that's what we're going to be doing with this video. So hopefully women and men could understand what men are going through when they suffer. But I do want you guys to understand this. For the most part, a woman is never going to feel sorry for you. And if a woman does feel sorry for your pain, she has an agenda behind it. Trust me. If she's not gaining from it, then she's not going to care about it. That's just female's nature. Let's get to it. All right. First, you can't talk to your friends. All right. This is one way that you suffer. And the reason why you can't talk to your friends is because in a lot of cases, those are the same friends that told you that you were with the wrong woman. That's one thing about family and friends. When you're blinded by love and you're so cuckoo eyed about her, everybody around you is not going to like her, but you're going to think that everybody is hating. So when things do go for the left and things do go bad and you mess around and get your heart broken after a, after a relationship, you feel embarrassed if you go and talk to those people that warned you about her before or the ones that was lying to you before. You don't want to go look at them at all. And the reason for that is it's because of embarrassment. So in most cases, you start seeking new friendship. That's what brings you online so you could try to find new friends to help relate to the problem that you've been through because some of your friends in real life are not going to be going through those problems. And if someone's seen you on the outside, you're going to be ashamed to show them what has happened. The worst thing that you could do is go around somebody that said, I told you so. Next, guys suffer by going out constantly. After a relationship and guys have been hurt, you guys try to bounce back really, really fast. You try to go out, you try to go to the clubs, you try to go to the strip clubs, all fighting to try to get over this girl. Not all guys, but a lot of you guys will even lead to drinking or binge eating or even marijuana. But the most popular is going to be the alcohol. A lot of you guys start to drink. To, to, to try to compensate for the depression that you're going through. And that's going to cause you to even suffer anymore because it's going to cause you to pick up a habit that's going to eventually start releasing dopamine and it's going to be hard for you to break. That's one of the biggest suffering is when you guys actually start smoking cigarettes, smoking weed and having a drink. It always starts off with just that little one to get over the pain or just that little hit to get over the pain. Next thing you know, months go down the road and you're a full blown addict. 
All right. If you ain't been smoking and you get out of a relationship, that's not an excuse for you to smoke. I'm telling you that right now. When it comes to drinking, nowadays you got to watch what you putting in your body. But a lot of you guys, you suffer because you run and you start to do recreational drugs. <laughs> Next, you start to feel like a victim. All right. This is one of those sufferings, right? That when you get around to start to feel like a victim, like you're a victim to everything, like a woman, you're a victim to a woman in every cause. The moment you start feeling like a victim, like everything was that you were attacked, that you were approached, that that she's been messing with your mind the whole time. All that is just part of a delusion. You have to understand the only reason why you got your heart broke is because you tried to convince a girl that did not like you to like you. When a woman like you, you don't have to question anything. She actually becomes annoying. But you guys are so used to chasing women that do not like you. Then you go into simp mode. Simps are a man that knows the woman doesn't like him, but he's trying to bribe her for her attention and love. He's trying to be the servant. Hopefully she sticks around. Maybe if I make enough money and spend this money on her, maybe she'll stick around. Maybe if I show her that I'm willing to do things that other guys won't do, she'll stick around. That's when you go into simp mode is when you realize the woman don't like you and you're trying to buy her affection. When you're going through that situation, Majority of the time when you get your heart broke, you are going to feel like a victim because you felt like you put too much of your heart inside. You got to sit back and face reality and realize the only problem that you made is that you chose the wrong woman to be the good guy to. Next, you guys regret hurting her when the relationship broke up when you didn't even do anything. You start to blame yourself for the reasons why the relationship went wrong. You start to overanalyze everything that went wrong in a relationship. Like maybe I shouldn't have told her that I didn't like her shoes. Or maybe I shouldn't have got loud that one time. Or maybe I shouldn't have did this that one time. You start to think back all the way back at the beginning of the relationship and think that it has an effect on you now. That's suffering too is when your brain is starting to regret things that you didn't even do. You start to say, all right, maybe she's the victim. You start to feel sorry for her. You play the victim role fresh. At the, at the beginning of being hurt, you fresh. But then after a while, when you start reaching desperate and you start thinking about her, then you're going to start to think that you did something wrong in a relationship and she's just reacting to your emotions. That's suffering. The energy sometimes just don't work. The harder you try to force and make it work, the, the worse it's going to end. You got to always think back. If she likes you, you don't have to do anything. But if she doesn't like you, then you're going to find yourself always working. As simple as that. There's going to always be one chasing the other in a relationship. Next, you lose sight of a future relationship. You no longer want to be in relationships. You have no faith in being with a woman whatsoever. On that, that's going to suffer too. And the reason why you're going to suffer, because if you stay inside of that mindset too long, you're only going to be lying to yourself. And then you're going to be doing the same thing that women are doing. They're lying to themselves, acting like they don't need a man and that they don't want a man. When in reality, they truly want to be loved and have a hug. That's what men suffer too. You suffer from the same thing they suffer from. You get hurt so bad that it scars you into having faith with any relationship. So then you start to let go. Once you let go, you start to lose at everything. You start to lose at money. You start to lose at your friends. You start to lose everything around you whenever you give up on wanting to be with women because women were your motivation. So a lot of you guys, you dated a woman that gave you the spirit to want to run out and get a job that made you want to own a business that made you want to be something. Then when the relationship's over with, you're like, why do I have to run out and work so hard? I just lost the woman that I was willing to be the best man I wanted to be with. A lot of you guys are going to go through that problem too, where you need a woman in your life in order for you to want to be the best version of yourself. Next. Your female friends and other female friends don't want to deal with you either. 
You got to realize a lot of you guys have had girlfriends and then you've had female friends that was there too that knew about your girlfriend. Or you had your girlfriend, but then you had family members that were your female friends. They would come around you too. Well, when you break up with a girl, no other girl wants to be around you. Guys suffer because they can't even go to other girls and talk about it. You see in a lot of cases that if a guy has a main chick and he has a side chick, the relationship is good. But the moment he breaks up with his main chick, something just starts to go crazy with his side chick too. Most guys lose both of their chicks at the same time because when when women sense that no woman wants to be around you, she has no attraction to you automatically. You got to realize that women think like lioness. You know what I'm saying? They want to battle. They want to fight. They want to argue. They want to get out there. They want to go hunt. But they also want to share a man. That's just how it is. They want to share a dominant man. So whenever you break up with a girl, in a lot of cases, no other girl wants to come around you. She doesn't feel their energy. Next, and this is a big one. Male influencers influence you to stay single longer. Now, why are you suffering? Everybody's not meant for this introverted Sigma male lifestyle. This is something I've been doing my whole life, bro. A lot of you guys, you need relationships. You need companionship. You need friendship. You need birthday parties. You need cookouts. You need Christmases around the tree. You need trips. You, you need um, you need to go out to eat. You need to always be congregating with people. You need that. You need a relationship because you feel like a relationship brings the best out of you. And if you can't get a woman to motivate you, then you're not going to be motivated to do anything. I've said that before. So a lot of influencers that are online, a lot of these guys are married. You have to understand a lot of these guys are in a relationship. Do, do I still date? Yes, but I'm not married and I don't live with no woman, bro. Like it ain't going down like that. You can go over to my second channel and see who I am and how I live. But a lot of these influencers have women, but you have been programmed to think that you're going to be single forever. You're suffering. The best thing for you to do, stand for something or you're going to fall for anything. What do I mean by that? You got to get out here and you got to lead a nest. You got to jump from the porch, from the porch, and you got to go out and be a man. It's time for you to leave your pride. You may be in your room too long. You may be around family members too much or around a group of people too much. It's time for you to leave the nest so you can go start your own pride. It's cool to come listen to what I have, what, what I have to say to you, but I'm going to be honest with you. Don't let my words control your life, bro. This Sigma shit ain't meant for everybody. This introverted lifestyle is not meant for everybody, bro. Become the best version of yourself and go back into a relationship. But that's just, that's just real talk. All right. And these are eight ways that men suffer that women wouldn't even expect you to be suffering from this nor do they care. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. And remember, I just put out a new video on my second channel. Hasta la vista.